Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I need to diagnose why my anti-lock brake light keeps flashing on and off. This was happening a lot about a month ago. Although I haven't noticed it lately, I still want to know what the problem is. I'll start my diagnostics by checking for trouble codes. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I own many different scan tools. But for this job, I'm going to be using the ANOVA 5610. It's a bi-directional scan tool, and I chose this one because of its advanced features, and I know it's compatible with ABS systems. Let's get started. I'm plugging in my scan tool to my data link connector. And then we got the ANOVA 5610 linking up to my vehicle. And it links up really quick compared to some of the other scan tools that I own. And it's telling me I still haven't downloaded Repair Solutions 2. So what this is, you can get a verified fix for this trouble code, find the right fix and the right part all in one app. So it's a nice app. I'll definitely take advantage of that, but I'm gonna skip it for now. It's also telling me no powertrain codes or freeze frame data. So I don't have any powertrain codes and I didn't even have to check it. That was just the first step that this tool knows how to do. But from here, what I like to do is I like to go to system status. And here I can check all my other modules. So I was having an ABS light come on every once in a while. It would flash. So let's go ahead and just come down to where it says all modules. And this will scan all my modules. This will take three to five minutes, depending on how many modules your car has. So it just scanned every module in my car. The computer has no codes in there, and we knew that because it already checked it at the beginning. Now the transmission control module it has no DTCs also. And then we're going to come down. So the anti-lock brake system, that has two diagnostic codes in there. And that's the light that keeps coming on, but it hasn't come on in about a month. So let's go to the ABS and let's check what codes they are. So module control unit power source voltage is low. So that's one code. And then the IG low voltage. So I'm getting a low voltage on both of these. The good thing about this is it'll check your battery and alternator system. And since I have a low voltage problem, let's go ahead and check that. So I'm going to come over to the menu. And then active tests, special functions, service reset, service check, and then here's battery and alternator test. So on this, we're gonna check our battery. So we're gonna go battery test, and it's gonna give you a little bit of directions here. Um, the vehicle must be prepared for the battery test. Vehicle is not moving. The transmission must be in park or neutral position and ensure the parking brake is on. So then we're going to just go ahead and say continue. So it's going to want me to turn on the headlights. Let me go ahead and do that. Headlights are on. I'm going to push continue. Going to do a little countdown for me. 19 seconds, 15, 14, 13. And it's going to tell me to turn my headlights off. I'm going to say continue. Start the engine one time. And then it gives me a printout here. So battery status is good. I had 12.1 volts when I started it. It went down to 7.7. .7 and 10.1 while it was cranking. So it says my battery is good. So let's back up and let's do the alternator test. We're going to go one down, 
And I'm going to say alternator. Engine needs to be running at normal operating temperature to begin this test. Start the engine. Well, let me shut it off. Start the engine and turn on your headlights. So I'm going to start the engine. My headlights are on. So I'm going to push continue. So it wants me to increase the RPM to 2,000 RPMs and hold it there until my countdown reaches to zero. So right now I'm at 2,000 RPMs and it's starting to count down. I'm trying to hold it as steady at 2,000 as I can and it gives me the readout 2,079, 2,070. Obviously, that's close enough. So we're down to two, one. Turn the headlights off and return the engine to idle. So my charging voltage is within specifications. So now I'm going to go back to the main menu. And let's go back to system status and let's go over to our ABS module again and let's look at that code again so these were both low source voltage codes and I've replaced my battery about a month ago and that is most likely the reason for this code so now I can just come over here and say erase codes Erase DTCs. And those DTCs were erased. Now I've been driving my vehicle for a couple of weeks now and I wanted to show you, I'm going to check the ABS code. And there's no ABS DTCs presently stored in the vehicle's computer. This video is a good reminder that you need to have a healthy battery and alternator before you start diagnosing electrical problems. If you don't have a good battery, you'll end up replacing parts that don't need replacement. I've seen this many times. The technician pulls a code. Let's say it's an EGR code. They'll replace the EGR and the problem is still there. And the real problem, well, that was low voltage. I hope you learned something in today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll also leave a link in the description to where you can purchase the 5610. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Don't